Roberts is there, so is Davy Cooper. I really fancy it will be Davy Cooper who tries to bend one past the wall. The referee insisting the wall comes back the full 10 yards, and that's much easier to measure when you consider that's the 18-yard line. There's a six-yard line there also, so it's an easier task for the referee to identify. Roberts is dictating things. That's brilliantly struck by Davy Cooper. 21 minutes gone, Rangers have equalised. And a stunning free kick from Davy Cooper. Well, they don't come any better than this. Thundering the ball past the wall. Leighton had no chances that thunder. Jimmy Nichols' header. There's Fleck. Durant's header to McCoy. There's Durant, a great chance for Rangers. And that was magnificent. Walter Smith relishes the moment. And well, there's no one up for Aberdeen. They're all back defending as Nichol returns it. Roberts with the header, there's Ian Durant and Fleck! That's Robert Fleck! McCoy. So McCoy's the regular Rangers penalty taker. He's scored three out of three so far this season. And all the players having to remain in the centre circle as McCoy prepares to take the vital opening kick against Jim Layton. McCoy's continues his excellent penalty kick form, gives Rangers the lead. Crucial, of course, for the first one to go in for the side taking it. Jim Layton guessed right but couldn't get across in time. So 1-0 it is to Rangers. And it'll be Jim Vett, who is the regular Aberdeen penalty taker, who will take the first one for them. He scored, remember, in the ninth minute of the match make that his fourth successful penalty out of four this season and Nicky Walker could become a major hero if he can stop enough of these penalties in front of his fans behind that goal convicting a long run up and he picked a different corner this time with equal effect and the match for really played it to Walker's right that's what Walker thought he would do again but Bet deceived him so, one each it is, and Betts can now relax as far as his contribution to the whole affair is concerned, and it's Davy Cooper who goes next for Rangers. So, another expert in the penalty spot, remember the one he scored for Scotland against Wales in Cardiff to get Scotland on course to the World Cup, here he goes again. Absolutely deadly. Apologies the Rangers fans. But he could put them on either side this time. He sends Leighton the wrong way. And there's the score line. But that's with Aberdeen with a penalty kick in hand, and it'll be taken by Peter Nicholas. Experienced player showing the way for Aberdeen at the moment. Peter Nicholas scored three times this season for Aberdeen. And another crucial moment for him. Disaster for Aberdeen and for Peter Nicholas in particular. The shot clipping the top of the bar and going over. And here's the penalty kick which may well give the cup to Rangers. Skinning off the top of the bar, Nicholas dejected as he walks back to join his teammates. And it's Robert Fleck now. The Rangers have the advantage. One miss from Aberdeen. Robert Fleck again who has scored from the penalty spot for Rangers before. Comfortably stopped into the net. And it's all going Rangers way at the moment. Beautifully taken once more with Leighton going to his right. The ball is stopped in the opposite corner. So one miss so far from Aberdeen. It's Peter Weir who must score to keep Aberdeen in with a chance. That's well taken by Weir left Walker with no hope at all with that one and we've seen some very high class penalties apart from the one missed by Peter Nicholas all the rest have been beauties which have left the keepers helpless and now Trevor Francis the fourth kicker for Rangers now Jim Layton has to conjure up a save to get 
Aberdeen back on terms. There's Francis, a two-step run-up. Or is he going to replace the ball on the spot? Well, this can't do his nerves any good at all, even with his experience. A very short run-up from Francis. But thoroughly effective, and Leighton is frustrated. He guessed right that time. He just wasn't quick enough to get across to his right. Now, if the next penalty kick is missed by Aberdeen, Rangers will have won the score league cup. Francis goes back. Congratulations to his teammates of John Hewitt. Now for Aberdeen. He must score to keep Aberdeen in with any kind of chance. The Rangers fans beginning to anticipate victory. And here are the celebrations. Here's Hewitt against Vicky Walker. Well, not struck with too much conviction, but it was good enough to find the net. 4-3 it is, and it's Ian Durant who will come up. And there's Hewitt's again, he's dropped it at the corner. So, a bit of prayer, I think, for Joe Miller as... Leighton prepares to face Ian Durant. Now, it certainly would be fitting if Durant took the final kick to win the cup for Rangers. If Durant scores, Rangers are the winners. There will be no need for any other kick. Perfectly taken by Durant. Rangers of... Jury to Lodra. That's good running by Lodra. Severe test for young McManus this, looking after Lodra. And a bloomer by Rousset. Judy's pass, here's Lodra. McManus goes back with him. Played it early this time, but Judy! Double 